Okay, so I wanted to do a quick little rebuild video. This is the NAFS Lander. Uh, these are aftermarket scales I got from Chroma Scales. They are some sort of polyresin, plasticky. This is in a kind of a terracotta finish. I really liked it, but I, you know, it just doesn't go well with any of my other knives. Uh, it's a little too slick for my taste, so I just haven't done much carry. Uh, with it. I've been kind of waiting to see if I can find some other scales that I really like. I was looking at the Contoured Micarta, but I found these at Way of Knife. Uh, these are a, um, a knurled uh, titanium, and they just look really, really nice. I think this is going to be really great for this. Um, and it uh, has a little bit more texture, a little bit more grip. Still a little slick, but not too bad. And at the same time, through NAFS, I got a Lander Rebuild Kit. Um, everything in the uh, satin finish. Uh, so we will replace all the hardware at the same time. So I'm going to take this down uh, down to the, to the mat, run it in high speed so you don't have to sit through it all, break it all down, put it back together. We'll see what it looks like. All right, guys. Thanks. Okay, so figured out a little issue that I had here. I <laughs> didn't bother to read carefully, but you can see here we have a diagram that has the different screw sizes. Learn your screws. That's pretty embarrassing that I didn't bother to look at that, but what I noticed is that we have a variation on all the screws are threaded the same, but on the actual thickness of the head of the screw is different. So the thick ones are for the scales, the thin ones are for the clip, and the medium sized ones are for the frame. So we're gonna have to take a whole bunch of screws out. That one is a scale. That one is a scale. That one looks like a clip. Couldn't say for sure it's a clip, we'll see. Let's see what we actually put on here. Yep. So, I really goofed that up, didn't I? on there pretty tight. Camo. Off we go. There we go. Yep, so I have a scale screw there, a scale screw there. So let's take these out one at a time, get them where they belong. Scale screw, which I should have four total on this. And a scale screw. Okay, so there's our four scale screws. Now, that looks like it's a frame screw. 
that looks like a I think this is a frame screw. The only one that's hard to tell is the difference between the frame and the clip. Because it's just a hair thinner. That looks like a frame screw. So if we look at the head, I think we're good, good, good. It's just this one. That's a clip screw. Clip. 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 Frame. All right, I think we're good. Now, but I wish they had done T8s on all these. So sixes, but <clears throat> teach his own. Still nicely. Pretty centered. We'll have to fiddle with that in a minute, but it looks pretty good. Lockup's nice. Okay, so we're gonna take this down quick. Put it back. Okay, so we have now put it back together. You guys got the little um, interlude there where we figure out the whole issue with the screws. So we went through them, correct them, got it all set. Everything fits really nicely. Way of knife, knurled titanium. Boy, this really makes a big difference on this knife. That is, adds some real weight to it. Uh, it's got a nice grip to it. Now. Many might say, gee, Laird, you have put titanium handles onto a D2 blade knife, and I think that's a good point. And I will say that um, I am semi-planning on ordering the Micarta version with the 14C28, and I may move these over onto uh, a 14C28 uh, blade. Um, but... I also am a big believer on upgrading knives to where I really enjoy them for a quality carry. Uh, so this is one that I would probably carry along with the uh, titanium baby banter that I have or even the titanium uh, scale upgrade that I did on a Delica. Um, I really like the overall fit and finish of these scales. It's fantastic. There's nothing sharp anywhere. Everything is... Uh, chamfer down really nicely um, would it be nice if I could get a stainless liner instead of this coated liner um, but I haven't seen one yet on a lander knife I think these scales would also be fantastic on the lander 2 the new one that's coming out so I'm hoping they will eventually do that uh, so anyway if in fact I end up uh, getting the 14 c28 version uh, with the uh, contoured micarta, then maybe I'll put the contoured micarta on this one and move these scales onto that knife. That might be a fun uh, little switch around as well. But overall, uh, 
I hope you guys enjoy that. Pretty basic, pretty easy, but boy, if you are looking for a nice set of scales, these are inexpensive and they are fantastic. They also have it in a sonar pattern with lines. They also do a, uh, a non-knurled uh, where it's just flat and you can get it done with all kinds of different anodization, choosing colors as well as some of their in-house anodization styles. So overall, uh, very, very happy with this and a very inexpensive upgrade. It makes this knife really, to me, uh, a much more uh, enjoyable carry, I suspect, than the original upgrade. It was these, uh, these look cool, but boy, the feel just feel like cheap plastic. You know, they just, and they have no grip to them at all compared to this. This has a real grip and just feels excellent. All right, thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us today, and hit that subscribe button. See you soon.